Hi everybody, my name is Virginia. I welcome you to Baltic Aviation Academy webinar. Today we will analyze one of the most important and significant topics in aviation, the line training. In general, the issue of line training is a tricky subject in aviation and many pilots are struggling to get it. Also, from pilot inquiries and emails, we have noticed that we want to get a guaranteed line training position and a job. We usually emphasize that there is no point to do a type rating without any guarantees. But are we right in this case? In order to clarify this issue, we have managed to get an interview with one of our students who has successfully completed the Boeing 737 type rating and currently doing his line training. Hi Manfredus, it's nice to see you. So without any further ado, we will start our interview. So please introduce yourself and your current position. Hi, my name is Manfredus Latvinas. And currently, or let's say finally, I'm flying on Boeing 737 in air company in Central Asia. Okay, thank you. And how many line tra training hours have you already uh, completed? Uh, I have flying line training uh, about one week. In these seven days, I made 19 flights and it's approximately 30 hours of the flight in just seven days in one fee in one week of flying okay thank you and how did you manage to get the line training position um let's say it was quite difficult because uh, firstly i had to cho choose whether i should try to find a job and where could i where I would work as a co-pilot or finish type rating and then try to find some solutions. In this case, uh, I will not say which choice would be better because uh, I chose one of, th of these and I will not, I am not sure how it was if I choose another one. So um, I finished uh, type rating and base training in Bolt Coalition Academy. And then uh, they put me into a priority list and also send me uh, to some assessments. Uh, later, uh, when they could uh, inquire from the company, uh, I got a chance to have an interview and uh, an OPC check. Uh, of course, I was quite lucky because uh, interview went well and uh, I got chance to try to fly real aircraft. Okay, great. And how long did it take to get the line training position after you finished the type rating? Um, after finishing type rating trainings, I had about four or five months uh, till I got proposal for OPC check and uh, for the interview. And after five months, I started um, my first steps as an observer uh, in the, during the flights in air company. Okay, great, thank you. And the next question is, uh, what would you say to pilots who believe that the line training must be guaranteed by a type rating organization? Or is it your own responsibility? And in your case, did you only rely on Baltic Aviation Academy or had you been trying to get a line training position by yourself? Um, of course, uh, after finishing base training, uh, I was searching by my own also. Um, I made new CV with a, with a Boeing 737 type rating in it and sent to all uh, companies, air companies, which had Boeing 737 in their fleet. Uh, I had also big support from Baltic Aviation Academy. And they were giving the information about the companies uh, also they were making assessments and um, uh, main criteria uh, of the pluses let's say during assessments was my 
aviation job experience and um, aviation uh, knowledge quite uh, good OPC check and of course uh, good interview with the company Thank you and what challenges have you faced while searching for the line training possibilities? Okay I, mostly our companies uh, do not take uh, line training as a priority because it needs a lot of resources firstly they need uh, training uh, instructors uh, secondly they need a lot of documentation and uh, to prepare a pilot it's quite difficult and usually such companies go directly to training organizations uh, where they can get uh, quite big amount of pos possible as uh, possible pilots and it's easier for them to do assessments during the uh, through the uh, type rating organization okay thank you and uh, uh, what so what do you think were your success factors um, in my opinion uh, my aviation experience was one of the biggest factors uh, why I got chance uh, to take a part in assessment of course uh, good results uh, during assessment uh, it's during interview and OPC check uh, where the main was where the main factors why um, I got lucky uh, to have line training great and how long does the line training usually take it's hard to answer of course it depends on the company um, it's easier uh, with a uh, company which uh, have scheduled flights because uh, it usually knows how many pilots do they need and uh, uh, how many hours every pilot will have uh, during his uh, flight month. Uh, talking about charter flight companies, they are expecting more hours during the summer season and less hours during the winter season so in my case um, line training uh, firstly let's say that the line training officially line training is uh, 40 flights and it takes about 60 uh, 60 hours yeah um, 60 and it takes about 60 flying hours sorry uh, now I have fly I had flying um, seven days and these days I have about uh, 30 flying hours already so in my company uh, the co-pilots have average of 70 90 hours per month so if we would talk about this uh, line training as a 500 hours uh, which are minimum usually which are minimum request in the companies um, I am expecting to get uh, such amount in uh, eight months and usually uh, in companies uh, in other companies uh, it might take about even 18 months so I will repeat that uh, mainly uh, it depends on air company in which you are flying okay and uh, the next question is about regions in your opinion what regions pilot should approach don't you think so that pilots are too much concentrated on Europe and they are not willing to take a risk and go to uh, another regions where might be more available line training positions? Uh, talking about other regions, uh, it's easier for me to talk about Central Asia uh, because I'm flying here, of course, I'm flying here only uh, three weeks if uh, counting the uh, two weeks of observer flights but there is also uh, lots of good things to fly here because uh, firstly of course uh, these companies also working uh, down, uh, working uh, um, according uh, Boeing uh, uh, SOP uh, or very close to it and uh, mm, the system, the working system is the same as in Europe 
plus uh, the airspace of uh, this region is not very crowd not so crowded as in Europe so during the flight you have uh, lots of time uh, to think what you should answer to ATC uh, you have to time to prepare because um, uh, airspace is uh, clear and you have more you have more more time to listen what your instructors are saying for you to prepare for the flight because airports also are not so crowded and you are not in so big rush and there is a lot of pluses uh, also flying in uh, um, other regions uh, than Europe. Okay, thank you. And the last question, what would you suggest to pilots who haven't find a line training for a year or even longer? Um, it's hard to say something uh, for, for the others because I know how it's difficult to search and to hope uh, get to get starting as a co-pilot. For example, um, my colleagues uh, who are working now at the same company uh, they were waiting for a chance uh, to get co-pilots uh, to get into co-pilot seat about uh, 16 months so it's about uh, one and a half year and finally they have got it and um, and they already have about 1000 hours and they passed that quite big step uh, which is quite hard but but they now are flying and they are quite happy. Um, my my suggestion after type rating, let's say after finishing type rating, uh, you should not go far from the big aviation. Firstly, you have to try to find job which is nearby, and second of all, you have not to forget your training friends, uh, maybe from your earlier flight experience uh, also the friends from the type rating uh, which with whom you finish type rating because you have to get all the and uh, necessary information about job possibilities or even about simple aviation events uh, which could lead you to to bigger to bigger uh, to bigger aviation and of course uh, you have not uh, to expect only to get you have to not uh, you have not to forget to give for others also this is my opinion thank you for listening i think uh, i hope it was quite not quite boring and maybe it will be some help for you choosing or deciding in which way to go thank you Okay, thank you very much, Mantvedas, for your time, and we wish you all the best in your career. Thanks. I hope this interview helped you to dispel all doubts about the line training. Our advice would be never give up, be determined and motivated, even if sometimes it looks too complicated and unachievable. As Mantvedas says, your success depends on your skills, personality, knowledge and performance. But we, as a professional training organization, will help you to achieve it. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye.